Hey, good morning, friends. So I want to do a video on how to plan out these benches and tables that I've been building. And so I'm going to build a heat press station for two heat presses. Um, this will be part of my direct garment and screen print t-shirt shop. So I want to talk a little bit about how the planning is. So if you're interested in the actual construction, this isn't a video for you. But if you want to know how to plan these things out so you can build them yourself, well, this is the video for you. Okay, so let's talk about the size of the table that I'm going to build. All right, I want it to be 36 inches on each side. So 36 and 36. And then I want it to be about 34 inches tall. So I'll just draw that to represent a leg and write 34 on it. Okay. So that's the top view. And if I was to draw a side view, my table would look something like this. So I would have a shelf here, a surface here, and another shelf up above. And in this case, I want this to stick out 14 inches. I want the back legs to be 48 inches tall. And I want there to be five inches from here to here. That's essentially the outline of what I want to build. So from these two things, I need to build a cut list. So, Easiest way to start with a cut list. Um, look at to see where I've got space to, to draw it. Let's just erase this. Okay, so the first thing you need to figure out is how far do you want this to overhang and I like it to be two inches on each side so that means that my frame is not 34 it's 32 by 32 okay and I've got my legs and so generally I start with building with with the legs and then I kind of work from there so cut list is two at 48 inches two at 34 inches okay and that's going to give me this and this and now 14 minus 3 for two two by fours on either side of it gives me 11 and I'll make that a little bit shorter so I have a little overhang in the front so two at 10 inches back legs front legs, shelf, horizontal, top. All right, so now I've got to break down the rest of this and I'm trying to build a 32 by 32 square with legs in the back and legs in the front and the easiest way to do this is to do this piece first and then do this piece second. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, because I need a support. So what it's going to look like is this in here. Uh, I think four, uh, three feet is too far to not have a middle support. So I, I slightly overbuild my stuff. That way I can pile lots of crap on it. I can stand on it. It just doesn't hurt it. So I need six. At 32 inches. Left, right. Horizontal. Okay. And then I need one. So if you were to look at this from the other angle, you'd need the pieces that run across here. And 
Um, these pieces are actually going to be a slightly different size. They're actually going to be three inches shorter. So uh, this is why you build a cut list. So two at 29 inches and then four at, um, it should be 32 minus um, three inches. So 29 inches. Hey, look, there's a pattern here. So. six at 29. So that's my cut list. And then I've got MDF here, here, and then this will be plywood. And, and that's just how I always build my tables. Um, so that's really all there is to the planning of this table. And so what I'll do now is I'll shoot another video showing how to build this table. And you can modify the dimensions to suit your application. So if you needed a four foot wide and 15 foot long table, well, you could do that. You just need to think about how much overhang you want. And I always plan these based on their surface areas. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. And please be sure to like my uh, video, to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave positive comments.